Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this course, I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful blog website using Next.js. We understand the basics of Next.js. Now let's take a look at how you can use that basic information and build a real world examples. So we're going to make this beautiful blog website and I'm going to make different pages of it just like the home page and the blog page. So let's dive in and see how we can make this beautiful blog website using Next.js. I'm going to open the VG Studio Code editor and inside this, I'm going to simply open the empty folder projects and inside this project let me create my next.js project so i'm going to open my terminal and you can see i'm using the project directory to create this blog project you can choose any directory name that's upon you so here inside this project directory i'm going to create a new next.js project so i'm going to say here npx create next app and then i'm going to specify name to this application blog that's upon you you can specify any name to this application I'm going to press enter and this is going to create a new Next.js project inside this project directory. You can see the project is successfully built. Now let's cd into the project directory. So let me clear the screen, cd into the blog project directory and say npm run dev. This will start the development server on the local host 3000. You can notice. Just click on this link and this is going to open a new Next.js project. Now we already learned this, how we can set up the Next.js project in the previous Next.js course. Now let's take a look at how we can set up the Tailwind CSS in the Next.js project. When you open this blog project, you have the Next.js project structure. Before we start creating a new component, let me set up and install Tailwind CSS inside this project. In this project, we are using Tailwind CSS to style the component. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to search for Tailwind CSS. And here I'm going to click on tailwindcss.com click on get started and I'm going to click on this framework guide from here I can choose my favorite framework I'm working with so I'm working with Next.js so just click on this Next.js and here you have different commands to set up the Tailwind CSS with Next.js so you have to first create your project we already done that enter into your project directory and then install Tailwind CSS so let me just copy this first command open my terminal let me just stop the development server just for now and I'm going to enter here npm install hyphen d tailwind css post css and auto prefixer and when I press enter this is going to install all these three libraries inside this Next.js project once we have that next we have to create tailwind css and post css file to configure tailwind css so we just need to copy this command and specify that just right here when you enter this command and press enter, inside your files, you will get two more files here. PostCSS.config.js and TailwindCSS.config.js. Both these files are used to configure Tailwind CSS in Next.js project. Just after that, you have to open the Tailwind CSS configuration file and copy and paste this statement. We are informing Tailwind CSS that we are using Tailwind CSS inside the component folder and inside these pages. So let me just copy this, open the tailwind config.js file just like this and I'm going to select this content and paste my statement, something like this. Let me save this file and then just after that, you have to add tailwind directives to your CSS file. As you know, in Next.js, you have to add these directives inside the global file. So just copy this back to the global CSS, which you have inside the styles folder open the styles folder and open the global.css here at the top right up here I'm going to paste these directives these directives is going to create different CSS classes inside this global file so when you execute next.js it will build all the CSS classes of Tailwind inside a dedicated CSS file and we can use all the Tailwind CSS classes in the next.js project so once you've done that let me show you how you can use Tailwind CSS here we have the simple home component and inside this home component we have h1 heading tag with hello world text let me copy this back to my project save the changes close this global file and this tailwind file minimize these styles back to the pages and open the index.js this is the default file right i'm going to get rid of all this code right from here because this is the default file you will get with next.js and paste here h1 heading tag with hello world now let me save this open the terminal and don't forget to start the development server again I'm going to say npm run dev when I press enter the development server is started on localhost 3000 
and when I back to the localhost 3000, you can see I'm going to have my hello world. To this text, I'm going to have font bold and underline. So we'll see we have underline and font bold. If I want to increase the font size, I can specify here text 6XL. Save the changes. Now I have font size 6XL to this text. And if you want to specify any color, you can simply specify text indigo 500. Save this. You can see you're going to have your text color. So using Talent CSS, it's super easy to build this complete blog website. If you want to know more about Talent CSS, I have a dedicated course on it. You can check out that course from the link provided in the description. So let's start building this complete blog using Talent CSS.